Hello everybody, today's video is going to be all about the Byredo's Boulder Freak perfume. Now, if you're not familiar with Byredo, I believe they are a Swedish perfume house, but all of the perfumes are made in France. The majority of the perfumes are unisex, uh, the same applies for the Boulder Freak one, and it's quite a premium brand. So. Their perfumes are quite highly priced. I believe the Boulder Freak one retails for uh, £142 for the 100ml, which is the bigger size and it's the one I've got. And the smaller size, which is the 50ml, retails for £95. Now, I must say at this point that I do not own any other perfumes by, by Rido. This Boulder Freak one is the first perfume I purchased from them. And I have to say they have quite interesting and unique smells. I bought my perfume from Liberties in London because I was in London for uh, the last couple of days, but I'm pretty sure that Selfridges also stocks by Rido. Now, as you can see, when you buy the perfume, uh, it comes all very nicely packaged. It comes with a protective, like, little carton box. And then there is this huge box with the characteristic B for by Rido. And if you open the box, uh, this is how the perfume is um, packaged. You have here some information leaflet that it says a little bit about the brand. Um, I believe they're quite a recent perfume house, so I don't know when exactly they were founded, but it's definitely one of the newest perfume houses. And then this is the bottle. Let me just take it out of the box. I really like the box as well, and I think it's very sturdy and it's good to travel with it as well because it keeps the perfume safe. And then this is the perfume right here. Very simple bottle as you can see. It says Boulder Freak at the very front. I really hope you can see that. And then the cap is magnetic. And then we have the beautiful Byredo Boulder Freak perfume which I'm gonna uh, talk about. Now, Boulder Freak is promoted as an oriental woody fragrance, so if you like these kind of fragrances, then definitely go and give this one a go. I personally am like someone that likes vetiver in my perfumes. I like, for instance, the Tom Ford Black Orchid, which has uh, vetiver in it, and this, the, uh, the Byredo Boulder Freak one, definitely has vetiver in it, and it's quite prominent, so you can definitely smell it. But according to their website, I'm going to read you all their notes, the top uh, notes are African Marigold, Bergamot, Buchu, Lemon, and Neroli, and the heart is uh, Cyclamen, Jasmine Petals, and Violet. And then the base notes are black amber, Moroccan cedarwood, mask and vetiver, of course, which, as I said, is quite prominent, so you can smell vetiver right from the beginning. As I said, the majority of the Byredo perfumes are unisex and Boulder Freak is no exception, so both men and women can wear this perfume. And I would say this is a very fresh and clean kind of perfume, very daytime appropriate, very spring and summer appropriate, and it's a perfume that you could very easily wear to work. Now, as far as the lasting power is concerned, I would say that for me, it lasts on my skin for five to six hours. It's not a perfume that will last all day, so if you wear it in the morning, you'll definitely need to reapply it in the afternoon or before you go out and things like that. So it has a good lasting power but not a great lasting power if I if you know what I mean. It's, uh, it's not one of these perfumes that you will spray on your coat or on your scarf and then go to wear your scarf the next day and it will be still smelling of the perfume. It's not that kind of perfume, it's not that strong. As I said it's a very fresh, very clean, soft, creamy kind of perfume. You can definitely smell the lemon and the neroli but <laughs> I personally am not someone that likes very sharp, clean perfumes, if you know what I mean. And this is more creamy than sharp, I would say. Yeah, it's overall, it's a very unique perfume. I definitely want to try more perfumes out of the Byredo collection. I definitely also really like the Gypsy Water one, which apparently is the favorite perfume of Victoria Beckham and when I was about to buy the perfume I was debating between the two but I think Bold Freak like stole my heart just 
by a tiny bit more. So yeah, it's a perfume that I'm really looking forward to use all throughout summer and maybe a little bit throughout autumn. And every time I spray it on, it's a perfume that just makes me feel happy. And I think it's a universally accepted smell, if that makes any sense, in the terms that is very not offensive and not in your face. It's there, you can smell it, it's nice, it's very pleasant, but it's not very offensive or very strong uh, in comparison with some other perfumes that I have. So I think it's an overall good choice, even for a present or to buy yourself. So that was everything for me guys, hope you liked this perfume review of mine. By no means I'm not a perfume expert, I just know what things I like and what things I don't like and definitely the Bold Freak by Byrido is a perfume that I really enjoy wearing and I would recommend. Let me know in the comments down below if you have smelled this perfume or if you own this perfume and what other perfumes by Byrido would you recommend to your friends or to uh, this YouTube community. Thank you very much and I'll see you all very soon. Bye you guys!